does a show over at Enchanted Circle Brewery uh, once a month. Uh, you can catch him there. You can't catch me there, though, but uh, that's... <laughs> uh, put your hands together for Mr. Jamar Hall. You could actually catch Troy there in the crowd because he's very supportive. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's see, um, found out I was an accidental pregnancy, my loops baby, made it, yeah, this is true, uh, the, the way I found out, uh, my mom and I were having a conversation, so I'm the oldest, and my mom and I were, were having this conversation, and she was explaining to me how her and my dad met, and, uh, a, a, apparently they got together and broke up, and then the way she said this was, <sighs> And I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> yes! And I'm like, I'm slow, so I'm like, it's okay, mom. It's, it's right. And I'm like, what? Yeah, it pissed me off. <laughs> Once it finally hit, I was like, that's me. Even worse, I found out that my brother is the favorite child. Like, you, you can always tell who the favorite child is, like, based on, like, who got what name, right? It's, uh, because I had, and, and I asked my dad, like, just, like, the whole naming process when it came to the both of us. And I asked my dad uh, how my brother got his name. And he was like, and he, he got, like, really serious. Like, we, we were joking around about something. And he got serious on me. And he was like, <clears throat> I went up to the mountain. I went to the peak. I drank from the fresh spring water. I meditated. And I hiked back down. And God blessed me with this vision. And then he started speaking in tongues afterwards. I was like, what? I'm like, all right. So I got really excited. I'm like, okay, my brother got like this hardcore story. How did I get my name? I'm like really happy to like hear all of this. And he was like, oh man, uh, it was day three. They were kicking us out of the hospital. So we had to come up with something. Jabbar. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, but, uh, like, people, like, try to put, like, this little spin on it. Just, like, you know, it's pretty romantic because, like, my mom getting pregnant with me is the reason why my parents got married. But my brother's 18th birthday is why they got divorced. Yeah, like, my dad was literally backing out the door on my brother's 18th birthday. He's like, happy birthday to you. And then he took off. Planned it perfectly. I'm like, all right. Um, people fighting for uh, diversity on television, which I'm all for. I'm all for that. Um, one thing I don't think America is ready for is a black ghost hunter. I don't think we are. No. I don't think we are at that level yet. Just because, like, I imagine what a black ghost hunter would look like. Like, he would be there. I don't think the black ghost hunter would go inside the house. Like, I think he would be on the front lawn interviewing people. Like, I say, bro, I say, bro, hey, uh, y'all ever see any bullshit going over here? Yes? Okay, cut. We're going to the next house. <laughs> Do not mess with ghosts. <laughs> Piss, like, you guys got real ass ghosts in here? Like, I thought it was just a theme. But, um, we might not get black ghost hunter, but I think we would get a black sound guy for ghost hunters. I think we, we would get that far up until the actual ghost shows up. I'm not sure if you guys have ever watched Ghost Hunters and you've heard the sound cut off like mid screen. Just, ah! That is a black sound guy. Just quit his fucking job. He's like, fuck this shit. Like, I'm unplugging everything. Like, we're getting out. These are my chords anyway. We're getting out of here. I quit. Um, <laughs> uh, when it gets cold out, they refer to this time as cuffing season. Everybody gets booed up gets somebody, and I'm under a, a lot of pressure to find myself a girlfriend. Um, but uh, under like different type of pressure, just I don't, I don't like eating alone, and I'm afraid um, I'm gonna choke, and there's gonna be nobody around to save me. Like, I just want a girlfriend, just, and I'll like take anybody, you know? Like, I'll, I'll, I'm like, I'll date somebody who's like a, a nurse, or a CNA, or someone with nursing credits. Just like anyone who like understands the signs of choking, just so like, 
Because I'm because I want to be comfortable and like if I'm gonna eat like ramen noodles and it goes down the wrong pipe, like save me. Like I can't do this. Like I I haven't eaten at, at home alone in a very long time. It's getting expensive. I'm eating out in public, it's like in an open table. Just like hopefully, like if it does go down, there's somebody around who will be like, he's turning blue. But still, like I I'm too proud to let people know that I'm choking. Like I feel like I would go down like a bitch if I do choke in public. Like I'm turning blue, and I'm like, people are like, do you need anything? I'm like, <laughs> ten. All because nobody swiped right on Tinder. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm like out here like trying to find a girlfriend. I'm being proactive. I'm hitting on women, but I don't have good game. Like I think you need to have like good game in order to hit on women. Like, and it's all about time and place, right? Um, I'm at Subway trying to pick women up. I don't think that's like the right spot to do it. Like I'm like next in line, and I got this girl ordering her sub. And I think, like, okay, you know, it, it'd be really clever of me to use my surrounding. So I just lean in and I'm like, <clears throat> you know, you can tell a lot about a woman by the type of sub she orders. <laughs> I think that that's pretty good. Yeah. And, like, men, like, we throw a game out. We don't expect a woman to, like, participate in this conversation. We just expect the line to work. Yeah. And so I throw it out. I was not ready for her to turn and ask how. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. I got six people behind me watching me try to figure out how to give a meatball sub some personality. <laughs> you look like you like balls. <laughs> like the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> yes, and we dated for a little bit, and then I walked in on her uh, in her Italian trio. <laughs> yeah. He's a, a, a real cold cut. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm like really trying to pick up women. Um, like, so much so, like now I'm like digging at the bottom of the barrel. I went to uh, like hot yoga. I'm not sure if you've seen any black people in yoga. We don't do yoga. I'm in there, like, people wear, like, men wearing yoga pants. I'm in there in an Adidas sweatsuit, just like, all right, let's do this. I'm in hot yoga, I'm not ready for all of this. And uh, I'm like, okay, like, plenty of single women to pick from. I'm like, I found my spot, and I'm in there, and this uh, sensei master, I don't know what you guys call this guy, but he's in there, and he's doing all these poses, and he was like, okay, everybody, just uh, look inward. And he kept saying it though. He's like, look inward. Can I hear this? Now he's like right next to me. I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. And he's staring up at me. Look inward. <laughs> Pissed me off. I snapped. Like I I I grabbed him and I'm screaming at him. Everybody's staring at him. I'm like, look, motherfucker, you call me inward one more time, I'm gonna kick your ass. And he's just like, no, 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 no. I mean, look within myself. I put him down. I'm like, I'm sorry. Then he walked away. These niggas are crazy. <laughs> and then I kicked his ass. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm getting older. I'm uh, well, like I'm. People like warn me about aging, and I and I wasn't ready for it. I'll be 31 in a couple months. <laughs> he's like, ha. Ah. Wait till you find out. No, but it's like it's starting to hit me. It's starting to hit me, like like subtle things, right? Like like people used to tell me, like you know, watch what you eat because it'll stick and you're gonna get fat. Like you you need to stay active, like in your late twenties throughout your thirties. Watch what you eat. They and and I was ready for that, but like it hit me in a different way. Like I really need to watch what I eat. Like if I eat cheese, like I need to cancel my plans for the rest of the night. Like. <laughs> Can make it out. <laughs> they had cheese in the burger. <laughs> Trust me, I'm staying out. Like it, like it's like small things. Like I sneezed on Sunday and my back still hurts. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like I'm not. It, yeah, it's just really bad. And like like I'll have dreams about me tripping and I wake up with a.